welcome to our LUFC vlog. Today I'm on the MK Dons game. If you're from the next night game of the season, you can check them out on my channel. Without further ado, let's go on with the Milton Keynes Dons game. So today we drew 1-1 at home to MK Dons. It was a um, terrible, terrible performance. You know, probably the worst I've seen this season at home. Maybe, maybe the Rotherham game was worse. Um, that's up to debate. But, you know... Um, Simple five-yard passing was absolute terrible. Um, Bamba had a shocker, you know, huge. Bamba would spend about ten seconds deciding where to pass it to, pass it, and then end up passing it, you know, backwards. And it was just terrible. And um, we were incredibly slow, you know. I'm not saying just hoof it up pitch, but you know, we'd pass it, we would stand around, and then we'd pass again. We was, was too slow in our passing. Um, I thought to Carver. Takara would have on the air, but didn't really have anybody to, to get it to. Like, he couldn't flick it on for anybody who couldn't hand it down for anybody. But Takara played... To, like, Takara would will stay in the centre. But Takara just, like, seems to end up on the left or on the right. right. And you're thinking, um, when he's crossing it in, I don't want you crossing it in. I want you in the box trying to win the header. And I don't think Takara understands that. You're playing with a lone striker. You can't run everywhere. You have to stay... Like, obviously, you have to move around, but, like, you can't try and be everywhere all the time. I think we miss Wood. And I think people who, you know, criticise Wood, I, I think it's shown what he brings to the table. Because we, I mean, is, is it a coincidence? Maybe we just didn't play well today. But Wood wasn't here, didn't play very well. Um, Maybe Wood's... You know, what he brings is he tries really hard, you know, and I think it's the same because I think if we had won today, maybe we would have won. Um, no pun intended there. Maybe we would have won. I'm sorry. That wasn't very good. Um, but yeah, Charlie Taylor and Wooten, I thought, were both fairly solid at the back. And Wooten comes with a lot of criticism, another player. But I'm just like, well, Wooten is solid. I think it's because he's not really a flair player. Like Byron, when he was playing right back, he'd be getting forward. But Wooten is that kind of like... You know, he's stable and, you know, he's consistent. Um, Bamba and Cooper, neither of them played particularly well. I thought Sylvester kept us in it a few times. I mean, the passing back to Sylvester was god-awful. I heard a few people criticising, you know, his kicking out. But if you pass it to him on his weaker foot under pressure, what's he supposed to do? I mean, he, he kept us in it. And we were incredibly lucky to get a point. Although, to be fair, we would deserve the point. We've been rescued again by an own goal, just like the pressing game, and it's absolutely awful. It's a terrible own goal. Uh, I, I, I feel so sorry for that player. Although he's an MK Don's player, I feel sorry for him. Um, I've heard Steve Evans' um, post-match rea post reaction. Um, he said the referee was awful. I thought, personally, the referee made a few bad decisions, not just for Leeds, but for MK Don's. He had a penalty call. Um, he also said Bridcut will hopefully still be at the club. I thought that he was definitely going to Brighton or say it's Sunderland, but apparently he should be coming back to Leeds, um, according to Steve Evans. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Um, but yeah, it, it was a terrible performance, and I think he realises that, and I think all the players realise that. And um, we, we don't pick up points against, well, we do pick up a point, but we don't win against the lower, you know, the clubs in the bottom. And I think it's this mentality, we don't have the right mentality. To play against teams in the bottom. I thought Antonucci really changed the game. We, we really should have started playing Antonucci from the start. He looked good. Um, he, he he was not afraid to run at players. He, he um, Takara, Takara really worked hard. But Antonucci, you know, those MK Don centre-backs were probably, you know, really worried when Antonucci came on. Because he was just running, he was chasing everything down, putting pressure on them. Takara doesn't really do that. Um, obviously, we linked to Takara Lafferty. Um... I think it'll be good to see him in, but he hasn't really got much of a championship goal scoring record. Byram looks like he might looks very much like a going, everyone knows that, but Evan's saying we're gonna bring in another wide man. Could that be replacing Byram? So I think Byram will be gone soon. I think Evans didn't go out and say it, but I think it, it was indicated in his com press conference that he would be. I uh, will probably do a bit of a separate video on Byram and Bridcut and the scenario they're currently in another place trying to bring in place going out. But that is all for me on this match reaction. I have talked about the transfer window a bit. I am um, ending it now. I would like to talk on longer, but I don't want my video to be too long. I try to make sure it's under five minutes. So please subscribe for more on Leeds United and predicting videos on future matches. Otherwise, 